Welcome back to another episode of Inside Line. I'm your host, Rick. I know it's been a long time. I don't know who to blame about that. Maybe me, maybe Matt, maybe COVID. Who's to say? But anyway, welcome back. We got a ton of content for you guys today, so let's jump right into it. A lot of events going down this fall, and if you haven't, get registered, guys. I mean, these people are throwing these events. It takes a lot of work to make it happen, and honestly, they need your registration fees to you know, to make things move on the day to day. So get registered. We got Jibber Rib, Soldiers of Downhill, and GRC coming up. So if you haven't, make sure you're registered and, um, you know, get stoked because they're all really sick event. Jibber Rib is going down October 15th and 16th. If you haven't, get registered. It's an amazing hill, super scenic, all the California vibes. You'll get all the reels you'll ever want, you kids out there. And it's not even that gnarly. I mean, I made it down. Kevin's throwing an amazing event. So if you haven't, make it happen. And honestly, if you're going 50 on jib, you're probably trying way too hard, let's be honest. The GRC free ride is happening here, Asheville, North Carolina. Well, I guess Saluda, but you know, that's a technicality. Make it, if you haven't registered, get registered. It's gonna be an amazing event. 17 hairpins of straight bliss, you know, some slow ones, some quick ones. Definitely gonna be some danger passes. I don't know how everything's gonna work out, but it's gonna be a great time. Rafting at the bottom of the hill, okay, you like skate down, crash to your homie in the, in the final straight, jump in the river, float down to your campsite, okay, do some karaoke, get way too messed up, do it again the next day. You know, if you're not showing up for that, I don't know what you're showing up for, so I'll see you there. September 30th through October 2nd in Bainbridge, Ohio, it's going down like it always has, Soldiers of Downhill. If you haven't been there, come mob a random road in the middle of Bainbridge, Ohio, corn country. Crazy stuff goes down all the time. I can't tell you about it here, but find me at the campsite. I'll tell you about some years past, you know, I got some stories. It's a sick time. So show up, you know, get registered and um, yeah. So it's up to Dan when you get there. Hey Dan. A lot of events going down guys. I mean, get registered for them. Why not? If Owen can make it from Europe to Vermont, then back to Europe, then back to the US. I mean, snip, snap, snip, snap style, then, you know, you can totally make a month long country-wide trip, you know, to some races, so get active. Venom Skate finally drops the Dylan Hepworth Pro model. Well, I mean, this guy's been pro since he was like 13, let's be honest. Like, he's been better than us for a long time. And when I say us, I mean you two, like everybody. So, shout out to you, Dylan. Shout out to Venom for finally doing this. The Sidewinders are available wherever you get your skate wheels at, so hopefully you cop a set. If they're not at your local shop, get them there. Air Trucks reissues the K3 and K4. If you don't know about these trucks, especially the K3s, they're legendary. I mean, I'm pretty sure Metaphysical got filmed on K3s, so. Go cop these trucks, they're a uh, modern take, you know, on a blast from the past, so. With a little bit of a chop, a little bit shorter, you know, for all these fast boys out here, just to keep up a little bit, even if you wanna throw some slides, so. Go get some. The aptly named Last Chance Downhill happened in Vermont this past weekend and seated us our Team USA contestants for this year's roller games in Argentina. So shout out to Ryder for throwing a sick event. Seemed like um, a really slow event to be honest in like the videos leading up to it, but I guess it ended up being a rip. It looked really fast into that left. It forced Max Caps to throw a kamikaze slide. I'm pretty sure you meant for everybody to crash out right there, Max, but you know, it's okay. Brown's made it out somehow. Y'all yeah. better win. Prism Skate Code drops the Natalie Pluto and Owen Fox Pro Model boards. So if you haven't seen those, hop on over to their website and check them out. Two really cool shapes. Natalie's looks like a like a soulful dancer, like some some revamped idea of the DK Penguin. So you know if you if you haven't seen that board or if you don't know what a DK Penguin is, we have a whole nother conversation to have. So. But yeah, go check out that video. Natalie shreds in hers and Owen going 70 on his pro model. It's flat out insane. I mean, sick shape. And a much deserved board for a very fast rider. I mean, Owen shreds. Like, I think 70 is probably nothing to Owen. That guy's so cool, so cool. Mostly dope media. I don't know where these guys came from. I just tapped into this like today, like for this. But you know, that's how stuff happens sometimes. There's a video of Tony getting absolutely smoked in the guard row. I guess this is the one. Um, 
like where he got smoked in the guardrail. It's on video though. Tony, what, dude, you take off running after you hit that thing? And I'm just like, just like knowing what happened, it's just, oh man, it's terrifying. So if you haven't seen it, go watch this really good and bad video over on um, the channel that I just said. I forget what it is, but you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> One of those hot new channels dropping that sweet, sweet skate footage is LWG Media. They just released a video of Daniel Meyer and Jesse Fabrizio, some of the new young guns around the bill, shredding it up on a run we call Flat Top. So if you haven't, go check out that video. These guys shred, and uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more from them in uh, the years to come. So stay tuned. K and K went down. It looked like a wet one on the first day, but uh, seems like it cleared up a little bit into the second day. Guys got some runs in. Ended up being Chase Hiller in first place, as usual. You know, the guy's very hard to beat in a stand-up race. He just locks those things in. I don't know, something about the Rojas that I haven't figured out yet. I've stood on both of their boards multiple times. Scoot and Chase. Shout out to you, Scoot, and Antoine Carlotti for pulling off. Uh, first, second, third, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what makes you guys able to do that. So, yeah, shout out to the guys. Bunch of shit I missed. We're gonna ramble over some of that real quick. The Booby Pro came out. If you don't have it, go get the damn board. It's amazing. It's David's board. It's the first Southeast board that ever happened. It's nuts that somebody from Europe had to make Booby a board, but we're not going into that right now. Puerto Rico video was sick. Liam went ham. Love Liam in the romper. Um, I mean, like, I haven't seen you go that hard in a while, man. It's pretty good to see. So let's see more of it. Will, Will's also on the team. Will's on Caliber now, so that also happened while I was in my absence. I'm talking about that. Andy got a pro model. Andy, heal up, buddy. We love you. Whatever's going on with the, with the ankle thing, it's because you were going so hard. You're so fast with the push, bro. It's your push, Andy. But you know that, so heal up, buddy. Hopefully see you back out there soon. Go get Andy's board. Uh, get two, hang one on your wall. Chase's board is coming out. It looks sick. Um, looks like a Chase board, you know, whatever that means. Jeff, you make that thing in wood so people can buy it, or or you and me are going to Fisty Cuffs. <laughs> so can't wait to see it. Um, looks like a cool board. Get one, get another one for the wall. Get If you, get, if you got a homie that's got a pro model, you gotta like, you got to get it, you know, that's, it's just that simple, right? So you go out there, get your homies pro model. You know, if you met them, you should probably buy it. So it's just saying, go get them. And that's it for another episode of Inside Line. I know it's been a minute guys, but you know, life happens. I mean, it took a while for me to feel like I could come and just tell you guys the business. If I'm not on the inside line, how do I feel like, you know, I can give you guys the intel that you need but you know i'm back we're better than ever and uh we got a new studio shout out to matt for bringing our production level to a whole new level love you buddy and uh there'll be more to come so we'll see you guys on the next one <laughs> are we blowing shit up this season Always blowing shit up. we need to take a vote if we're blowing shit up this season yeah we'll find out <laughs> check the link below for everything that i forgot to say check the link for we're just getting back to it, man. We'll fucking we'll get it. Boom. Oh.